Hello, right, okay! Okay, so I've taken five clonazepam, 2.5 milligrams, in this 24 hour period, and it is 5.32 a.m. And I cannot sleep. I've admittedly had a fair bit of caffeine, but not excessively over the amount of caffeine that I have been intaking in the past, and I do not know what is going on. So I got this book. Um, yeah, you can see the title. Look at the screen. Stop, stop checking Wikipedia or whatever. I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna read from the book. Uh, uh, this is the first poem of the book. Uh, oh, Jesus, no. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, the the death of Matho. Blindly he rushes as stricken beast which bellows in its pain until its cries were bound from granite cliffs. More kind that than the crazed thong which mocks his grief. His frantic screams be screechings, please, from death. Sweetest of melodies to pervert ears. And now he falls. <coughs> Twisted and writhing lies, unsparing lashes play their music sweet till streams of sweat roll down the flogging slaves, drop down their tunics, run along the hems to pools of moisture of burning streets. At last, the end. Hair, flesh, and clotted blood lie scattered wide. Whips can no longer move the shapeless form. That fleshless, dripping red, scarce human thing, which but a few short, fleeting hours before had been a towering man, dreaded of all, a sight to stir the pity. One might think even Moloch, a ruthless pity void, to slake the quenchless hunger, still the pangs of the cruel monarchs, ever hungry now. And now the whole city sinks to its repose, save where from some great palace on the hill is born of the sound of lustful revelry. Red glares the moon over the aging Carthage sound. Ah!